For this learning target, we're going to learn how to determine changes in pressure, volume, or temperature, um, and how that affects the behavior of the gas. So here's the first graph that you have. So what I want you to do is to draw this graph and notice what's happening here. As we compress the gas down, we're keeping the temperature constant, we're keeping the mass constant, so what's changing is the volume and the pressure. So as we compress the gas into a smaller volume, those particles are getting closer and closer together, um, which is increasing the pressure. So if we go from four down to two, notice that our pressure goes from one to two. So as the volume decreases, the pressure increases by the same factor. This is um, what's called an indirect relationship. If the volume is increased, then the pressure decreases. If the volume is decreased, then the pressure increases. And the graph does look like this as a curve. All right, so this is called Boyle's Law. And know that volume and pressure are indirectly related. Let's look at Charles's Law now. So notice in this one, we're keeping the pressure constant. We're also keeping the mass constant. We are increasing the temperature, and we're looking at what that does to the volume. So notice that we have a straight line here, and it's increasing. So as we increase the temperature, we start at 250. We go to 450. Um, we are causing the particles to move faster and faster and to spread out more and more, which causes the volume to increase. So this is what we call a direct relationship. The temperature increases, the volume also increases, and vice versa. If the temperature is decreased, the volume is going to decrease. The third one is the Gilu-Sachs Law. Um, this relates pressure and temperature. All right, so your volume is constant, and so is your mass. So as we increase our pressure from 1 to 3, our temperature is going to increase from 250 to 450. And notice we have the same straight line graph. Okay, So if temperature is increased, the pressure is increased, um, and temperature decreases, the pressure is going to decrease. Now remember that temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy, so if the temperature is increasing, then those particles are going to move faster and faster, which is going to create this pressure increase. Now we're going to do this in class tomorrow.